Here in the foreground we have some young goldenrod. Um, we had a monarch butterfly just behind here a second ago that moved on. Um, and then we have actually a monarch butterfly baby, a caterpillar here. You can see where it's been feeding on the leaf. It looks like it's resting right now. Below it are uh, some nymphs of the large milkweed bug. Um, these are in various stages. There's little ones and medium-sized ones. Looks like there's one right there, very orange, that's it. coming out of um, its uh, skin to grow to the next um, level of maturity. All this is taking place on common milkweed plant with seed pods. Behind it over there is a, a pale Indian plantain, a very unusual looking plant. This one's about six and a half, seven feet tall. Um, conspicuous plant along with um, this brown-eyed Susan in late August. Uh, this is in large patches all around our prairie right now. Behind that is uh, some prairie dock. We got a bunch of these plants scattered across the prairie. They're conspicuous because they stick out seven and a half, eight feet tall, like this plant. This one's been bent over by the wind. Very pretty, um, very pretty flowers. We got all kinds of bees and bugs mating and, and eating here um, amongst the uh, prairie dock. And here near some uh, more brown-eyed Susan, we also have this other sunflower, and I just don't know the name of this sunflower. It's got very sandpapery, thick, dry leaves. They're tough, almost like sandpaper. They have a yellow disc in the center, and uh, they have some beautiful yellow rays with ridges. So is this a sneeze weed or a false sunflower? Doesn't seem to fit the bill for either of them. These guys are a little bit past. And there's gonna be some seeds coming out of here. Over here near the edge of the uh, lawn, we got good samples of our three main grasses. This is big blue stem. coming into a bloom this time of year. Um, across the prairie it's sitting uh, seven, eight feet tall. Um, we got a couple other things here too. We have uh, this Indian grass, which is blooming. You can see the little blossoms hanging off of the, um, the future seed pods. And then we have some uh, switchgrass here, scattered in bunches around the prairie. Um, hard to see here, but there they are. I got this one has a little bit of uh, purple to these blossom husks compared to the yellow gold the Indian grass and the sort of purple of the big blue stem. The gray-headed coneflower is now past. Some of them have gotten uh, very dry. Uh, these heads of seeds. These seeds have a, uh, they're very aromatic. Nice to smell. Sitting down below here, shorter, maybe a two-foot plant, is a stiff goldenrod. It look like, looks like these are in full bloom. There's some others over here past this switchgrass, which are not yet in bloom. They're about to bloom. And then we have uh, the showy tick trefoil. Uh, with both the purple blooms and the blue 
balloons that are passed and have turned into these little seed pods, which give it its name. They, they're like, uh, they're very sticky. They stick to your clothes when you run into the plant. And so that's why it's called uh, tick trefoil, showy tick trefoil. white wild indigo uh, now well past its flowering with the uh, black characteristic black seed pods you open these pods up and inside are some little I guess uh, seeds much smaller than like uh, a little bit smaller than an apple seed another plant over there scattered uh, purple cone flower, but it's pretty much past season uh, for that flower. With this specimen of prairie dock you can see um, quite clearly the, the size of these basil leaves. I mean these are huge leaves. Sandpapery on the bottom, smooth on the top. 